welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. We are going to do another 60 minutes of what I very loosely like to call entertainment. Let's get started. Um, first and foremost, Blog Talk is down again, um, unfortunately. However, um, what's that song? Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. <laughs> That song just started playing, so it's for somebody out there. <laughs> Please, if that song means something to you, own it. Say you own it. Claim it. Um, I will be doing uh, readings via YouTube. So if you have a question, post it in the chat of YouTube, and I will get to it as soon as I can. Um couple quick things. I will never reach out to you unless it's like if I tell you to comment and then to email me so I can send you something. That's obviously me. Uh, my only email that I use is tg24721 at aol.com for this. Um, for, I do have another email that I use with my email list on my web page but for the sake of the contest that would be the only email and i will comment it um in the chat for you and then and then you can email there and i'll send you one of the hypnosis sessions that we're doing we are on coming up on week five yes so I have some crazy stories about it from re-listening to them myself so i really listened to the sessions for a number of reasons. Number one, I'm always working on myself. But number two, I need to know the possibilities of what someone could go through if they're going through the program. So if they call me up and they say, hey, this happened, I can say, I, co I completely understand. This is what happened with me. I, that's perfectly normal. Plus, you know, I want to know where can I improve? Is this good? What else could I add in? The one thing I realize I can't do it on this chair because every little move on this chair makes a noise. <laughs> and that is, that it, it does, it really, it, it, you can hear it during the hypnosis sessions. Um, but the the biggest thing I learned from re-listening to them myself, one hypnosis session, one of these hypnosis sessions is better than a lifetime of therapy. And I will tell you why now. It's literally going in and pulling out everything without you looking at it. Just let Oive. The third time, my friends, I swear to goodness, completely different house. It was a very old house, gray. The background was gray. It was dirt. Um, and, and when I went in, I went in as a child. So I had healed everything up to that point. Now my inner child was entering this house and I... I'm not too proud to say I cried all the way through that. Like, not like, <laughs> like, like, leave face <laughs> sobbing, <laughs> which if you know anything about hypnosis, that's the money. That's what you want. You want that healing. You want to pull out that. Now I am going to tell you this. During these sessions, you do not go back to what happened. Nope, you don't, you don't get re-traumatized. You don't revisit the actual incidences. You just clean it all out without any of that. Mwah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, um, by the fourth time I went back to listen to that particular one, I went to look at the house and there was no house and they said the work on this one is done. So you guys, please, 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 please. These are only $25 a piece if you'd like to purchase one. Um, I've, given, I've given it away so far to two people. 
Uh, so if you would like to put it in the chat, you have to literally put it in the comment because once I'm off, I, I don't go back through all the chat to find what everybody put. And sometimes I can't even get back through the chat. So put it in the comment that you would like, um, you would like it, or you can just, here's what you can do. Email TG, like Tony Green, TG24721 at AOL.com. And I'll send you one of the weeks for free. I don't care how many people reach out. I will send you one week for free in your, uh, let me know in the uh, email, like in the, uh, I can't think of what it's called, but about section, whatever that's called, uh, a program or a contest. And then in the email, just do one, two, three, or four. So I know what week to send you. Okay. All of them work on uh, self-esteem, self-confidence, and uh, self-respect. The next two are self-acceptance and self-love. So that's it. That's what I have about that. Um, I am going to go straight away into, do you guys want me to do confirmations? Do you want me to do songs? Do you want me to do names? What do you guys want me to give you tonight? What is it you want? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I will be happy to start the show off that way. Um, I know you want me to get right in, um, into the, the, um, questions and answers. And I will, since blog talk is down, I have a little bit more time with you guys. So don't, don't worry. And if you do want it, remember to email me. I'll be happy to uh, send that. And I do it live every Saturday at noon central time for the last two. The last four were live. The next two will be live on this Saturday and next Saturday. Okay. I have songs and names. Okay. Uh, songs first. I'm hearing songs first. First, um, that song, I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I know I was wrong for leaving for so long. That's the first song. Now remember, Songs can be a song a loved one loved, you love, it reminds you of them, or it could be answering a question that you have about life, love, um, finances, any question you've been asking spirit or your loved ones. The next, the next song is, I can't stand the rain, I can't get that high, I can barely sing, so uh, that song, I can't stand the rain. The next one. I will do names next, love. I promise you I'm starting with songs. I will get to the names next. Thank you guys for, for telling me. Thank you so much. I love that. The next song is um, Purple Rain by Prince. <laughs> oh, now we need um, It's Raining Men and then we'll have all the rain songs. No, there's a lot more than that. Um, That song. Oh, God, I love this song. Uh, Loosen up your buttons, babe. You ain't seen nothing, babe. Oh, that's that's like, that song comes on and I just have to dance. Do you guys just have to dance to that? Like, I just love the, the, the little beat of it. That's just like when Shakira comes on. I can't, you know, I just can't not. Ooh, baby, when you walk that way. I don't know what the words are. Um, but yeah, my hips have to move tonight. <laughs> I'm with you, Shakira. I'm with you. Um, okay, the next song. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting so preoccupied. And somebody wants me to tell you, I know I'm still doing songs. Bob, 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 Bob. Okay. Bob seems to be just hanging out, not leaving. Bob is at every one of my shows lately. I think he's my fan. He's like a, just hanging out for somebody here. Okay. Uh, the next song is... Anything Snoop Dogg, and we got some some good, who's ever here tonight, I am loving their music so far. So far, loving it. Um, the next song is, um, I this song has been on the show before, and it's either Mac the Knight or Mac the Knife or something like that. Okay, the next song is, um, 
I can't drive 55. If I don't have to sing them, I'm not going to. The next song is Thunderstruck because I don't want to torture you guys like that. The next song is um, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Dun, 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 that song. Um, the next song is, oh my gosh. I, I won't be able to sing a lot of this, but if it's for you, you're going to know after my first two words. And I'm not sure I'm going to get word three and four right. To the hip, the hop, the hippity hop, to the bang, bang, boogie up, jump the boogie to the I can't believe that much of that song came out of me. Oh, my God. Um cruising on a on a sunday afternoon okay that song i'm going to take a couple more songs so get them in get them in now um lady in red and i think they're trying to over the last song because I hear uh, some things off a little bit, but yeah, I'm waiting. Okay, what's the last song, guys? I already said Purple Rain. Okay, what's the last song, guys? Okay. Uh, money. It's like a rock 70s song, maybe. I, if you know, you know just by that. That's what I'm getting. Okay, next I'm going to do names, and then we're going to go straight into questions. You can start lining up your questions, guys. Please make your questions exact, meaning one specific subject if you want me to connect with a loved one on the other side very happy to do that please give me their first name and their relationship with you and any question you have for them please don't ask me next three to six months please ask me a specific question about life love career finances okay i'm gonna do names obviously bob oliver minx janice I thought they were going to say Janet. It could be Janet and Janice, both of them. Levine, L-E-V-I-N-E, -E, Levine or Levon, Le Levine. Well, Levon could be the name too because that came out. Um, Mika. Some of these names, I'm I'm going to be honest. Some, if I've never heard the name before, I'm it needs to register before it comes out a little bit. So, Lacadia. I'm asking them to just play. Please give me names, I know. And they can't. They're like, that's not who we know. Or that's not who we are. Okay, the next name is um, Trisha. Thank you. Phew. Um, the next name is Pan Panthel or Panthal. The next name is Lavia. The next name is Joseph. The next name is Ronald. The next name is Aquarius. And then I'm going to do two names, two more names, and then we're going to go into questions. The next name is Melinda. And the next name is Michael. Okay, names. That's it for names. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. I'm going to start with questions. I'm going to go a little bit to the top. Don't worry, you guys. I'm going to get through as much as I can today. And because, again, we're not doing blog talk, um, 
it will go faster. Please, one question per person until I get through everybody, and then you can start posting second questions. Um, I think the first question, okay, Share Bear wants to know, do you see me transitioning into a new role within my company this year? Yes. I want to stay there. I love the company. The company likes you too. Um, be a boss at work is the first thing I hear. Be a boss. That means um, act, behave like the positions you're going for, not like this is it forever. Okay. Just behave like the positions you're going for. Okay. Um, did I miss? I don't think I missed somebody. If I miss somebody, please repost. Uh, Laura, will Guy and I end up together? <sighs> Laura, I'm sorry. Um, not at this time. And I, I'm actually going to tell you, Laura, if you... Okay, here's what I'm getting, Laura. You two might connect, but the connection won't stay. Okay? It's not going to be a long lasting thing. Guy has some things he needs to take care of or resolve or make some decisions on. I don't know what they are, but what I'm going to tell you is if you two end up together, it will not be a long lasting thing. Don't sacrifice to, to have that. Okay, love, please don't. Um, my son crisis and so am I. Okay, Pat, I, I am waiting for you to, uh, I'm, I'm going to go further down, Pat, to see if you, you uh, gave me a little more on that. Uh, yeah, the phones, yeah, they are, sure, better. Okay. Um, Trisha, Trisha, just wondering if my grandpa Gary had any message for my mom and I, oh, for me and my mom, yes, a lot, a lot. First and foremost, um, light a candle. Please let me know if that makes sense. Light a candle. And then I'm getting, if you go into prayer and then just like whatever you consider prayer, like just talking to him and then um, go silent, you will hear him in your mind. And you guys, when you're hearing spirit, when you're hearing your loved ones it's like a thought in your mind it's not in your ear it's not outside of you it's in here and it is it will sound they will sound the same way they did when they were here they don't go to the other side and then all of a sudden become like this holier than thou like um thundering thing you wouldn't recognize the same verbiage the same um the same tones and it will sound exactly like them so a lot of times people will say i'm just making that up because that sounds just like what they would say it's supposed to sound just like what they would say like when i hear my mom i'm always hearing ah, tony just stop it now <laughs> <laughs> and I would expect that because that's that's just how she would speak when she was here. Um, so yeah, so that is it. A candle, please light a candle, please light a candle, please light a candle. So your uh, Gary is just keeps telling you light a candle, light a candle, light a candle pray and he's fine he's safe he's where he's supposed to be at peace um but that is how you will bring in um that i'm i'm actually looking for a lighter right now because i have a candle right here i feel like i need to light a candle and i, I can't find a lighter i usually have a little thing near me but Gary, go get a, go get my lighter and bring it to me, and I'll I'll light this for you. I feel like like I feel like I need to light a candle like right now. But please light a candle. That's what he's saying for you, love. And everything's gonna be okay. Just light a candle and and pray. Go into thought. Go into meditation. However you want to look at that. Okay. Pat said her and her son are in. Um, 
there's just a lot going on, uh, crisis. Um, any messages from her loved one? And I asked her, what's her loved one's name and what's the crisis? And you guys, if I dig around long enough, I'll get the answer. But there's a ton of energy from everybody watching. And one of the things is that I like to have the information fast. And if you just are giving me just a little bit of information, it will go a long way, a very long way um, to helping get the answers. So the first thing, don't the first thing Jim wants to say is, and others on the other side, there's there's more than just him. Um, first thing I hear is don't blame yourself, but the second thing I I hear is a song, don't give up on us, baby. That song, okay. And that doesn't mean, I, I hear about this. Don't give up hope that things can change, but don't give in to the whims of, of him, okay? You need to use, um, don't, okay. Don't make excuses, don't make reasonings or justifications, be very strict and don't feed the beast, okay? I'm gonna do a clearing right now for addiction, all that caused it, all that's kept it. And this has been going on um, whether you know this or not, I don't, uh, Pat, can you please tell me how old your son is now? Uh, la, 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 uh, Jim is his name, Pat, what, how old is your son right now? Because I have, I'm getting an age and I want to know um, what this means. So if you could please give me your son's name, age right now, that would be perfect. I feel like uh, he's 40, an adult. Okay. <sighs> Pat. This has been going on since he was 12 and it really kicked in when he was 25 or took another level when he was 25. And this is something he has to come to on his own. There's not a lot you can do in this situation. And if I'm being super, super honest with you, until he really, you know, one thing I've heard from a lot of people that have addiction is there is no rock bottom anymore. Um, you hit you hit what other people would think would be rock bottom but then you can you know let him learn his lessons um is what i'm hearing let him learn his lessons because without learning that he will not change you can be understanding but you can't be G giving is what I'm hearing. Pat, I'm so sorry for what you're going through. Um, please know that. Please, we, we will all be praying for him. We will all be praying for him. Uh, Jade wants to say, hello, Tony. I love your show. Thank you. You guys make the show. Um, without you, the show would be freaking nothing without you guys. Um, you are amazing. I'm not going to argue with you guys. You're right. <laughs> Get, I hope you're laughing. <laughs> it's not me. I give all credit to above. I do. I really do give all the credit up above. So please know that I'm being totally sarcastic. 25% um, of employees were laid off yesterday. Me included. Jade, I am so, so sorry to hear that. I was devastated but not giving up. When do you see me landing a great job at a great company? Um, Jade, can you do me a favor? Tell me where you're located. I'm gonna scroll all the way down and look for 
a text of you telling me what area you're located in. Jade, I hear tomorrow you're going to see something coming in or or um, know something's coming in. I think it's out of the ordinary or out of the area for you. I do feel like Jade, uh, my nose itches, you guys. I'm sorry. We know what that means. There are children present. Um, Jade, I do feel like there might be, and if this doesn't make sense right now, don't worry, it will make sense. Apply to companies that are out of your area that are Pennsylvania, but I work when, I was just going to say it, I should have just said it. I feel like the company, it's a remote position and the company is out of your area. Oh my God, I should have just said it. Why did I wait? Why did I wait? I don't know. Okay. Um, it, but if the company is out of your area, the company might not be completely based near, it might be, and I hear New York and I hear, I'm sorry the way I say, or you guys, that's still from my concussion. That's one of the things that hasn't healed yet is the way some of my O's come out. Um, I hear that, that area. And then I also hear Virginia. So, um, and what I hear also, Jade, and I tell this to everybody, when you see positions, you can apply for them, but you're competing against all of those people. Go to companies that you would want to work for, okay? Find companies you would want to work for and go to their websites and, apply. And I'm going to, for Jade and everybody else, I'm going to tell you some companies that you might not have thought about if you're willing to work remotely. Cruise lines, airlines, and the perks are phenomenal. Phenomenal perks for a cruise line, for hotels, for airlines, anything in hospitality. Anything in hospitality, they hire a lot of remote people. Anything with banking and credit cards, they need customer service. They will trade, train, train you in fraud department. They will train departments. Um, so anything like credit card companies, bank cards, banking in general, and especially if you're willing to work their fraud department, go directly to their sites and and apply um the other area that i would say are places you know there's the normal places that you can work remotely also that you would think of typically but go to these websites go to a, a there's this cruise ship i don't know why i'm getting this i'm getting this for somebody out there there's this cruise ship where you buy your cabin and it, it travels around the world and you can get on and get off any place. I forget the name of it. Um, I dated this really very kind um, attorney who had a, a cabin on this cruise ship. I can't read, he was telling me all about it, but I was not on the ship with him. I did not take the cruise with him. Um, but th that, that for someone, for someone out there, and it's very, very high, oh my gosh, it's so high end. It's so, I didn't even know something like that existed until this guy, I was like, that's a thing? Holy guacamole. Um, I'm also going to say um, for any large chain. Okay, so I'm going to just leave that there because I feel like that is uh, good. So I hope that's helpful, Jade. And I'm so sorry about that. Let's do this for anyone looking for a job, anybody uh, wanting to switch companies or be promoted, anything stopping or blocking this, let's hear any new positions coming to people, anything that's stopping or blocking it, let's release that, heal it, clear it, get it out of there. 
Let's just do that now. Grandma Kitty, how are you? I'm so happy you're on with us tonight. What can spirit tell us about an alien human hybrid breeding program? The show is not long enough. Oh, the show is not long enough. Um, will humans find out about it before it is too late to do anything about it? Thank you. Okay, um, Grandma Kitty, oh my gosh, you are bringing it tonight. You are bringing it. Here's what I'm going to say to you, Grandma Kitty. Um, I have to be careful because people already think I'm... La Cuca La Rue, and because of some of the information that I know, like this is one thing people can't wrap their head about. What if our ocean is somebody else's sky leads to an, like here's our ocean and below our ocean is the sky to another plane. And our sky, above our sky, there's ocean that leads to another plane of existence. Um, what if I could do this all day on things, you guys would be like, she's freaking lost it. Mm -mm, you just haven't found it yet. Um, here's how I'm going to say this. What if it's already been going on, Grandma Kitty? That's why it's some of the things I see, some of the things I see, oh my gosh, I'm just going to, I'm going to put this here. Um, some of the things I see with my, when I tap into certain politicians and who has, what has their hand on certain politicians' shoulders as they're signing certain documents. Mm. <laughs> oh. And then um, what I can say, I'm going to read this question again to make sure I'm under hybrid breeding program, alien human hybrid breeding program. What if it's already been going on, Grandma Kitty, and we just didn't know about it? What if... Um, for some time, but here's the way I want to say this. By the time we hear about something or we know about something, the government has been experimenting with it for at least 20 years. When Dolly the Lamb came out, do you know how much government experimentation had been going on prior to that for them to let us know about that? It's not like our military and our government found this and then just told us right away. All that military money goes for things like this. A lot of like a $200,000 hammer for the NASA program. Mm -mm this, this stuff. Um, I am going to tell, tell you there are many hybrids in our mix and there are more coming. Um, we some many people know about this but don't talk about it because they're afraid of being called crazy understandably and plus they can't the people who work on this will be literally if they talk about it uh but if other people talk too much about it you know did you guys, here's a good example. Did you guys know that the plane that went down in Brazil, how many doctors that work with the big C were on that plane that are curing it? How many? This many. Do you know how many were supposed to be on it? 16. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's that for you. So people don't talk about things, love. They don't. Okay. I hope that I hope that helps. And if that was not exactly what you were talking about, let me know. Okay. Uh, thank you, Colette. Colette, I'm trying to reach my brother, Curtis, or my brother, Billy, if they have any message for me both. They're both going to say the same thing to you, and they both would always say the same thing to you, Colette. Colette, first and foremost, give yourself more credit. You're trying really hard. You don't give yourself enough credit. Like buck up, buttercup, uh, chin up, chin up, buttercup. Um, I get knocked down, but I get up again. That song is coming through. Like, don't let anybody knock you down. You get right back up on your feet and you keep going and you walk right by them. Don't let anybody hold you down. Um, and... Uh, uh, Colette, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to, I feel like, I don't know if this has to be with a relationship with a person or people in your life, but don't let people treat you less than. One of them is saying, F that, F that. Um, I feel like they're saying you deserve so much more than you allow in your in your life you're you're putting up with sh that word that you shouldn't be that's it <laughs> guys i'm on air we have to watch the swears i'm not a person i don't mind swearing i i just think it's just a word that gives emphasis okay i just we get the point a little bit more when there's a, sometimes a swear word in it, but some people find it very offensive. And um, for some of the TV stations, like to bleep it out if they watch or listen. So I try to be mindful for that, but don't put up with BS from anybody because you don't deserve it and you're a good person, okay? Colette, they love you. They love you um, 100%. They love you. Pat, I'm pretty sure I answered for you. Patricia, you're next. Patricia, uh, if you have a question, please put it in the chat. I will be happy to get to it as soon as I can. If you are asking a question, could you be kind enough to um, subscribe and or, or at least give me a like? Um, hi, a company that offers free certification courses online, interested in digital marketing, email marketing, which one would be right? for me to build my business. Thanks. Give me a second, Patricia. You know, I'm reading all these and I get a I get a no like I went through one at a time free certification courses. It, it's flooded is what I hear. Um Digital marketing and email marketing, again, flooded. Um, give me something else, Patricia. What else would you go for? What else would you go for? And whatever it is, make sure you're very, very passionate about it because it's very difficult to uh, do something that you are very, very passionate, that you're not very passionate about, especially if you're selling it, because essentially all of these things need to be sold. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys this. One of my friends owns a uh, match, uh, owns a company. And um, in the beginning, it sounds, uh, I don't know if I should even use this example if, in case she listens, but I love her and I love her company. Um, it seems like it would be so easy to do this one specific role for her, but oh my gosh, it's it's not it's not easy at all. It's very um, you know. So if you're not passionate about it or why you're doing it, you really will not be successful, and you'll just give up after investing a lot of time 
and possibly a little money into this. If, if please, Patricia, I'll I'll get to you as I go down. Um, the line. Tell me, give me some other options for you. I do feel like you are going to do something on your own. I do feel like, Patricia, it's going to be something you kind of enjoy. Patricia, also put your age in for me, okay? Jade, I know I took care of you already. Pat, I took care of you. Um. Uh, it, it, and, and Jade, even if you're not a support person taking calls, all of those companies I mentioned have many, many, like every company needs every position. Okay. Just so, so keep your, um, you are, you are going to find another position. And again, I hear, um, something might come in tomorrow or very soon for you okay uh yes grandma kitty right i definitely include that in your book and there's a something i could could tell you offline that would be two crazy things bernadette welcome to the show uh What's the topic? Okay, Bernadette, um, people just put in their questions, making it making it an exact question about life, love, career, finance, or connect with a loved one up above. If you're asking a question, please like and or subscribe. I like that. You're you're allowed to ask questions. I'll go down a little further, uh, Pat. Um, Yeah, you know what? Uh, back to the thing that Grandma Kitty asked about um, UFOs. Yeah, uh, they're starting to. We've all known about Roswell, right? We've all known about Roswell, and here's how I'll say it. You know, I've done, I've done. I I'm a hypnotist. I do regression sessions. I take people to past lives. I take people to um, childhood things. And there have been a couple of people that have come into my office that have had experiences with otherworldly things, UFOs and such. And we've gone back to, because part of it, they can't remember and they want to remember what happened. They remember the beginning, they remember the end, they don't remember the in-between. And all the stories, just about all the stories are the same. Just about, they're all very, very similar. And in every single case that I personally have worked with, they have healed and or helped the people that they, that they had an encounter with. Um, so that is something to think about and their technology is so much it's so much further advanced than ours i want i want to ask you guys a question just like keep posting your questions i'll get to your questions when we look at the architecture like the the pyramids we can't even build that today we can't we can't do that today when we look at these really old castles with the doors that are so huge and the the ceilings inside are so huge and the churches who built that who moved those big cement blocks into place because supposedly they didn't have the tools we have today and how was this built so long ago and it's still holding up when we start to look at things from a different part of our brain and we go wait we just look at it and go how did this happen who did this how did they get these 
like you know the the round part of the castle together hundreds of years ago and all we can come up with today is a uh, drywall and vinyl and plywood and pressed wood. Yeah. Okay. 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 I can't remember where I left off. Uh, Nancy. I think I did not do Nancy. Um, Hi, Tony. What do you feel about humanitarian health project that I'm involved with and how can I best contribute to it? Be mindful and be practical is what I'm hearing. Be extremely practical and mindful. I hope that's that's helpful, love. I really hope that's helpful. Uh, Am I going to receive my disability before the end of this year? I've done all the footwork and have a lawyer and the ball is rolling also. I think you're beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Um, it might be around December that it comes through. And when it does come through, I feel like there will be a lot of back pay or some back pay. And I feel like, oh, that comes. Like one of the things I know about Social Security, um, a disability Social Security is you can't like leave money in the bank. So make sure you have a safe place to put that um, when it comes through. Don't spend it all, but don't leave it in your account, okay? That's really important for you. I'll, if I have time, I'll go to your second question because, um, and when I get my disability, uh, thank you for that, I appreciate that. Um, that's really kind of you, thank you, E. I really appreciate that. I think your name is L, not E, but um, thank you. I appreciate that. Make sure the one thing I'm hearing for you is no matter how much you get, make sure you have a safe place to put it because disability, they really don't want you building up a savings. If they, even if they give you, let's just say, whatever amount, I don't wanna say an amount, but if they, they give you like a lot of back pay, you have to take that out and put it someplace um, be, before the next month or whatever. It's just one of the things um, that they are very, very strict about. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, I do, yeah, you know what? I take any questions, Grandma Kitty, on any day, and I love questions that are more like about angels. And I love all the questions, but when people start to ask questions about angels and guides and the universe and how many planes are there and how many galaxies and where where do certain those questions man the the whole show show turns into something completely different and yes i love questions about ufos and other i call it other life areas or whatever because ufo gets such a bad name but if we think about it we believe in ascended ones and angels and all these other things there's so much life out there. There's so much life out there. You guys would not even believe it. Um, I'm still waiting for, who was it? I think it might be a little further down. Somebody had posted something. Uh, so if you want to, 
Well, I don't know. Uh, please follow up. Uh, that would be great. You're welcome. Uh, here we go. We'll take this one. 66. Also like, also like voiceovers, performing keynote concerts and speaking combined and interested in hypnotherapy. Thank you. Did I miss the first part of this? Uh, Patricia, I think that's a follow up. I, I'm not sure what that's a follow up to. I'm really sorry. Um, okay. Okay, you guys, I think Yeah, you know what, L, I'm going to call you L. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to put this up. Everybody's been saying that I'm putting videos up that the moon and the sun do not look the same and that they are like it's a, a whole new thing since the last time I since the last eclipse, but in the last eclipse, they ran CERN again. So there's been all these glitches and timelines and things that have been going on that are just really weird very very weird very weird um the aliens at colette the aliens and the giants <laughs> yes but i will tell you this you guys every childhood story what if every childhood story comes from a realistic place? What if dragons are real, but they're just on a different dimension? What if giants are real, they just live on a different dimension? So sometimes when I channel, I love, I love channeling because, oh, I'm so sorry, my eye itches. Um, when I channel, the information that comes out, it's like as beautiful and surprising to me as it is to other people. But one of the things I get when I'm channeling about how, the dimensions, so we we will call them planes, like we live on a planet, but it's really a plane. And there are all these other intersecting dimensions that we can't see because we've never learned or known about them. But once you start knowing or learning about them, then you can start to see some of the elements from them. So part of opening up to your abilities is opening up to what is or what could be out there. I just need to do this because my hair is like whatever tonight. Um, so one of the things that I learned and, and even in my in my childhood, what I can remember from my childhood is there are so many different dimensions out there and there are so many different um, areas that we get our goodness from, where we get our goodness from and our technology and some of the other things from. And if we can stay tapped into our higher frequencies and our goodness, that's what we'll be pulling, okay? Now, if there's there's all different things everywhere. So yes, um, when, when you get into that and when you really open up and when you allow yourself to just not be afraid, hmm, the things you will see, the experiences or the knowings you will get are unbelievable. Um, uh, yeah, everybody has guides and it's really easy to, to know who your guides are. Let's, if you're open to knowing who your guides are, let's do it right now. You take three slow, deep breaths in and you follow the air all the way down. And as you breathe it out slowly, you follow the air again. You do that three times, but you can't think when you're following your breath. So by the third one, your mind, you're in that state or ready to meditate as long as you continually follow your breath. And then when you get to the third breath and you're breathing out, you just ask, what's your name? And they'll give you their names. And don't be surprised if they say, call us anything or they say, 
Bob. <laughs> Bob again. Oh my God, Bob again. I... <laughs> Bob again. <laughs> or John or some common name. They really, really don't care what we call them. They don't care uh, how, how we refer to them. Uh, sometimes I'll just say spirit team, healing team, whatever team, and I'll call them in and, and come get, get, let them know what's up. Like, hey, what's this? Can you help me with this? Um, okay, Patricia, Tony, you asked me to give you some other choices. I Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for reminding me, see, when I'm in the energy. Um, out of all the things on here, Voiceovers gets a small yes and hypnotherapy gets a yes. Either one of those would be good. Either one of those. The other ones, thank you for, for letting me know that. I feel like hypnotherapy, and I'm, I am partial to that, but I feel like it would be good. Um, if you do hypnotherapy, you can really, you'll have a, this one niche market one niche area that you will really love and really just devour and become an expert in and you'll you'll enjoy it so please consider that um and you'll be very very happy if you do that you'll you'll feel like this is it and i will tell you um, hypnotherapists can charge the same amount as massage therapists or acupuncturists um, and really make decent money on it um, if you put all of your energy into it. Absolutely. And I'm going to tell you, I love doing hypnosis on people. I love the changes that come about in their life, how they, I've had, I cannot tell you the number of people who have come to me for like their first hyp hypnosis session, thinking it's going to be like talk therapy and they have their first session. And at the end of their session, they say, this one session is better than the 10 years or the 15 years I've been in talk therapy. I've accomplished more in this one session than I have. And many of them, even with the most abusive and uh, horrific upbringings, only need three to four sessions if, if I, using my process, using my personal process of it, they only need, and, and if they went through their whole childhood of abuse, most of them only need three or four sessions to really get to where they need to be to let all of that go. And I love that. I'm very, very passionate about that. Um, but um, again, let me go back to this, uh, Patricia. Um, again, I think voiceover and hypnotherapy or voice and hypnotherapy would be very, very good. Uh, I do, yes, I do one-on-one -on -one hypnotherapy, hypnosis, absolutely. Okay, you guys, any, oh, nope, we're at 59 minutes. I don't have my blog talk to count me down. Thank you guys so much for being here. I will be back Monday. If you do want the, the session, one of the first four sessions, um, tg24721 at aol.com, email me at that email and put in session one, two, three, or four, and I will send it to you. I love you all so much. Have an absolutely amazing rest. Of the week.